Hello, families. Congratulations for completing three days of virtual school. This weekend, I would like to show you something that you will receive on Class Dojo today. Today, you will get a report, a, a learning progress report from your child's week at virtual school. Here, it will say your child's name and each table here are the different days. For example, this one is day one, Tuesday, March 10th. This one is day two, Wednesday, March 11th. And this one down here is day three, Thursday, March 12th. At the top of the chart are your child's learning responsibilities. Each learning responsibility every day is posted on this column on the daily learning plan. For example, this learning responsibility found here, greet everyone, is right here. Take a picture once you are ready to learn. You can find the learning responsibility by following the Seesaw Activity link. The learning responsibilities are in white. The column in blue is other optional posts that your child may have done. If your child completed a learning responsibility, it will be shown as a yellow box. If your child has not yet posted the learning responsibility, it will show as a white box. Remember, these learning responsibilities in white are, are required to post each day. In this column, you will have the total amount of learning responsibilities completed. This number, not in parentheses, is the number, is the number of white learning responsibilities. Once again, these can be found each day on the communication on Seesaw column of the learning plan. Down at the bottom, you will see a summary of your child's learning progress. This number is the number that you have completed, your child has completed this week. This week, we had 23 total learning responsibilities. If you have completed an optional post, you will, you will see how many in the line below. And finally, you will see the total amount of learning responsibilities. I hope this helps you see how your child is doing in virtual school. One last thing. When posting learning responsibilities each day, it is important to, let's see, where's my seesaw? There it is. It is important when posting a learning responsibility to go to the activity and click add response. Click your child's picture and post your child's response. This is very important because as a teacher, I can go through and quickly and easily see who has completed the learning responsibility and who has yet to post. This is really incredibly helpful for me as I go over your child's weekly progress and I can easily keep track of your child's learning responsibilities. If you forget to add a response, and instead click add and post student work, it does not sort into here and it is more difficult for me to find it. If you could please try doing this, this, this week, it would help out so much. One last thing, if I have missed one of your child's posts or learning responsibilities, please send me a message or if my math is a little bit wrong, it's been a long week. Please send me a message and I will change it. Thank you so much and 